Hundreds of thousands of people signed up to take part in the country's earthquake drill, the big shakeout today. The annual event took place in homes, businesses and schools across the country at 1.30 this afternoon with almost 800,000 people registering to practice what they would do if a quake hits. Students at Evans Bay Intermediate also practised a tsunami evacuation. Laura Dooney was there. Yeah. You feel like if it does happen, you know what to do? Yeah. Rather than being sort of vaguely panicked about I reckon everything. if we didn't do it, lots of kids, if there was a real one, would run away. Yeah, and just run around. And, and be... for new people, it like, helps for them, I guess, because mm. then there'll be no more. <laughs> you know more uh, like where to go if there's a tsunami or an earthquake. Children at Wellington's Evans Bay Intermediate learning to drop, cover and hold in a big shake. Their teacher Suzanne Try says the school does drills four times a year to prepare for an earthquake and students need to be prepared at any time of the day. It's really important because um, they need to inform their families and be aware if a situation does happen, for instance an earthquake or a tsunami, they know exactly the procedure and can get out quickly. And she says the school does more than just drills to make sure the children are prepared. In term one we had an entire unit focused around resilience um, and civil defence, so we um, showed the children what they should be doing, how they should be preparing their families in the case of an emergency. She says because the school is low-lying and near the sea, the children know where to go to get to higher land in case of a tsunami, which they also practice doing today. Meanwhile, in Auckland, at the St John's office, the same drill was getting underway. Staff member Murray Holt says while emergency services like St John are ready to go when the big one hits, People at home should also be prepared. It's really important that New Zealanders understand what to do so that they can reduce deaths and injuries and, and we won't then have to deal with so much when we get there. So the more that New Zealanders can do to practice this stuff and keep themselves safe, the better it is for everybody. Back at Evans Bay Intermediate, Civil Defence Minister Peony Henari led the charge at today's shakeout, counting down at the school for the rest of the country. He says the drill is all about making sure people are prepared for an emergency. It's important that we do it all together to practice and particularly here at this school because we know that with our young people prepared, our families are prepared. So we've got lots of work to do to make sure that in the event of an emergency we are prepared, which is why today is an important kaupapa. Mr Henari says while 790,000 people registered for today's drill, He'd like to see more participation. We'd love to see all of Aotearoa get involved. We know that schools are a great, great place because our kids uh, you know, come from families and they influence outside of here. But where more people can get involved, we'd strongly encourage that. And perhaps next year we can look at how we might do that. Anyone who missed out today and wants to hold a drill in their school or workplace can do so over the next two weeks and can register on the New Zealand ShakeOut website. In Wellington, for Checkpoint, call Laura Dooney, TNA.